to another compilation vlog starting with today's outfit please forgive my hair i didn't style it properly this week and yeah it really needs a wash so today's outfit for sunday activities i'm wearing this cropped misguided very lightweight red sweatshirt and i've got my swarovski choker on then my quick release buckle belt and then my high-waisted subi jeans i've also got some layers underneath because it's a little cold today it is winter here and that is about it i will link everything below oh and i'm just gonna wear my feeler sneakers with this i'll just throw on some sunglasses and we will get going here we are at plana darling harbour for some lunch on this lovely sunny Sunday. Here's my lunch. I got the vegan fettuccine, which has mushrooms, walnuts, cherry tomatoes. I also asked for a side of vegan cheese and I also got a cranberry juice. We're right near a heater, so we're nice and cozy. And they also have blankets. Hey guys, so it's Saturday and I'm heading out to do some stuff. Um, I'll show you my outfit. These are my pins for today, my NASA pin, my cherry pin, my little airplane necklace, my vintage denim jacket, which you guys have seen many times before. I've got some opaque black tights on. I think I'm just gonna get going. Oh yeah, and my hair is super wavy because I put it in a plait when it was a little bit damp last time I washed it. Going up. I'm here having brunch at the QVB with Kat and we both got the same thing. This is the Sultana loaf with soy ricotta. So it's, um, it's a vegan option and it looks really tasty. And I got a coconut iced coffee as well and Kat got a juice. And now we're gonna eat. So I just got back and I came up to do some packing for my ski trip and I thought I'd show you guys my little humidifier. This is just an ultrasonic one, so like not the ideal technology that I'd like for a humidifier. I've been doing a lot of research, but this one was really affordable and I think it will be just fine as like a travel one. I'll show you guys how it is turned on. I just have it in my bedroom because I like to have it where I sleep. It actually runs a really long time. I don't know how effective it is, but hopefully it's working well. And then it has lights. I like to have the light on while I'm relaxing before I go to sleep, but I have the light off when I sleep. And now I might do some packing. Okay, so majority of my packing is done. This is all my clothing and ski gear and my trip is seven nights and I know this probably looks like so much stuff. Like you guys are thinking, oh my gosh, I've overpacked. But the bulk of this is my ski gear, which just takes up a lot of space. Oh my gosh. I just realized I haven't even packed my jacket yet. The funny thing is, even with this, I'll be repeating outfits a fair bit. But then like these things I'm not sure if I'm bringing and then these are like my swimmers which I'm also not sure if I'm bringing and uh, yeah I may take a few things out of here. That's my outfit for the plane. I have my Walt Disney World sweatshirt, a long sleeve top, my favorite Zella leggings that I'm always talking about and then a pair of socks obviously. And there's my ski jacket all folded up so I need to find a really big packing cube for this. After this I'm going to start putting it into my suitcase and then I really just want to relax because I did not sleep well last night at all. It took me like, it took me probably at least three hours to even get to sleep. So I feel really kind of queasy. Do you guys know that feeling you get when you don't get enough sleep and you sort of have this slightly kind of shaky, queasy feeling the next day and your palms feel kind of sweaty? Uh, yeah, it's just really not nice at all. So I might have a nap this afternoon or definitely an early night at least. And I think I'm gonna take a break from packing until tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday and then we leave on Monday.
Hey guys, so time for a little outfit and hmm, where should I begin? These Dickies overalls, I've had them for literally three years now and I intended to maybe alter them into shorts, like a shorts overalls, but I just never really got around to wearing them. As you can see, they still have the tag on. <laughs> don't do what I do guys, wear your stuff. Don't, don't let it sit there and collect dust. But I did wear it in my 90s lookbook. This is um, a cropped misguided top and then I've just got my feeler sneakers on. This is kind of how it's looking. They look a lot more flattering from a side angle. From the front, they're definitely quite wide looking. It completely removes your waist. <laughs> so but from the side, it's not too bad. And I'm really uh, loving my makeup today. <laughs> Ever since I got back from the snow, I've been loving the really rosy cheeked look. So I've been trying to recreate it with makeup. Oh yeah, today's plans are yum cha at this place that I haven't been before and supposedly it's really cheap and really delicious and they have loads and loads of many options. So we're gonna go there for lunch and then check out the thrifting in the area. Like all I ever do is just like go out to eat and then go like thrifting or something. I feel like that's such a common activity in my vlogs, but that is the plan for today. Also a humidifier update. That little one that I was talking about before, the kind of travel one, I felt that it really did nothing. So I like really took it up a notch and this is not for travel. This is just for at home. I'm testing it out in my bedroom now and I'd also like to get one in my office, but it's super effective. It shows you what the current humidity is in the room, which is so necessary because if you don't know, you have no idea of whether it's working. This is where we're getting lunch. for an outfit of the night. Oh, I'm running out of battery. Good thing I have my spare one. Tonight we have another Harry Potter Sydney Symphony Orchestra event. It is the Goblet of Fire that we're seeing. So I have kind of like a Durmstrang inspired outfit. I don't know if you can see, but I've got this furry cropped sweatshirt. This is by Style Nanda. And then I've got this furry hat to match. And then I've got my Topshop waist bag, which is really useful for events like this where you can't bring a big bag. I've got this red tartan skirt. They don't wear tartan, obviously. I do have a red tennis skirt. I just felt like wearing this one. Then I'm wearing black tights and I just need to put on my shoes. I'm just gonna wear my plain Doc Martens, which I thrifted ages ago on eBay. I'll give you guys a full look. My hair's going a bit fluffy. Okay, time to go. Same as last time, I forgot to film Kat's outfit. Another lovely Durmstrang inspired Potter band. I think that's what, I guess that's what I would call it. Here we are. We got better seats than last time. They're right in the center. We're here at Donut Department. It's our first stop in Canberra and we've got a strawberry donut and a blueberry donut and both vegan. These donuts are really interesting. They're quite bready and dense, but they also have like a seed in the dough. You guys can see those little black dots. Okay, you guys, update. I think it's chia seeds. They use a chia egg replacer. We mix like chia seeds with water. That's my assumption. Such 
magical uniform. Oh my god, I thought that was a real person. <laughs> I love the names of all these cocktails. These are these sweet potato nori tacos and they come on like a crispy uh, nori taco shell. And this is my mocktail. It's like a passion fruit something or other. Look at the ice, I really like the ice. It's like really big and uh, cube-like. <laughs> Oh boy, maximum unflattering lighting. Anyway, wanted to show you guys my outfit. It's the same one I wore yesterday. I have my thrifted pants on. These are like a real uniform pant. Took them in at the waist. This sweatshirt that I thrifted and cropped myself. This bomber jacket my sister kindly let me borrow because it is very cold here. And then my monogram necklace from Etsy. Oh yeah, and my quick release buckle belt, but this is the wide one. A link to how I made that will be below. And as usual, some Fila sneakers. And that is the completed look.